here in game number three. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Cebulski. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. Oh, and he just puts it wide in the net. you got to get a shot on that, James. You get in tight, you have an opportunity in that scoring area, and you don't even get a shot on net. Not good enough. Lots of time left in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. The Wings win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Great reach with the poke chip. Battle along the boards. The Wings gain control of the puck against the wall. And he takes the feed. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. This is an impressive save right here, James. I mean, there's a ton of net run presence, and so a lot of traffic that he has to battle through to find the puck, and he does, and makes a nice save. Down the right side and into the zone. And that goes off, close off the body. Lemieux's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. The wings move it in. Strong defensive effort. Into the offensive end now. Puts it on there. And that's stopped by the goaltender using his head this time. Well, that's the type of save they say he used everything to get in front of it. James, is that jolts off the mask? Maybe a little dizzy after that one. Scooped up along the wall by Taylor. Nice zone entry from the left. Takes a shot. Don't save. Somehow got a piece of it. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. And the extended stick ends that one. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Across the line. And that's poked away by Redekop. Kalamazoo's on the attack. Turns it away. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Still looking for our first goal. Off the draw, they take possession. Quick feed to Craigs. Toledo's across the blue line. To his teammate. And he slides it quickly to Denoni. And that's knocked away. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. The Wings have it now. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Flips it up to that. And there's the save. Moves it to Denoni. Broken up with a stick. Sends it over to Sancha. Puck scooped up by Craigs. And that's blocked from someone in front. Denies that opportunity. And he slides it quickly to Prepanesis. Oh, what a great save by Lemieux. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. The Wings come up with the defensive zone draw. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Denied by the puck stopper. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Sintasso's won the draw inside his own end. Moves it quickly over to Bradford. A shot! And that's denied by Bednar! The key to being a great goaltender is not giving up second shot opportunities, and it's playing the rebounds to the corner. He does an excellent job here. Kalamazoo's got it now. Bradford's been whacked on the play. The official's arm is up in the air. Sintasso's stick work will land him two minutes for slashing. Their first chance to try to make something happen in this game. 
An opportunity here to go up by one on the power play. You know they've worked on this in practice. It's something you do, your repetitions. This is what prepares you to be big in these moments. And he makes the save. The coach taking it from his own end. And that's poked away by Sajin. Moves the puck into the D zone. Takes the puck. Comes up with the stop. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The pass in front! Gets out of the post! Answered the call there. Goes right to the crease! Here's a blast! And the lane's clogged up blocking that! Oh, he stopped it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. Really want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level when you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game. You know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual. This is what winners are made of. More than half the frame has been played here. The game is still scoreless. Kalamazoo's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Pitnar's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. Officials are in position and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another faceoff here. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Turn that chance aside. Pitnar's been outstanding tracking pucks and making you stop. Goaltender on that one picks up the rebound and buries it home. Boy looks frustrated now. James knows that you got to redirect that puck to a safe spot. The wings are on the board here, and they have the game's first goal in the back half of period number one. Well, you can really see that they bought into what the coach said pregame, James, about being patient, trying to capitalize on their opportunities, and they do it late in the opening frame. Toledo's got the puck against the boards. Sends a pass over. Great scores! He doubles up the rebound and tucks it home. That's what you call taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound, and you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. Toledo's got a hold of the puck off the draw. The Wings take possession here in the open ice. Takes the pass. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Routine save made by Lemieux. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Late goings of this period. It's all tied up. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. The wings played along the boards. That's intercepted. Scrum along the boards. Toledo's got a hold of the puck. Kalamazoo's got the puck. And he takes a shot. Oh, and he gets a piece of that one to keep it out. Well, this save was way more difficult than it looked, James. I mean, there's so much traffic in front that he's fighting through to see, and he finds the puck to make the save. The walleye have gained control of the puck along the wall. Takes that pass back at the point. Oh, much respect as he blocks that one. Quick pass to Morrison. Hunts the boards through the neutral zone. Moves it over to Adams. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Toledo's got it in their own zone. Here's a short pass to McGrath. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. 
Sends the pass over. Here we go. Out man rush here. Denied by the goaltender. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Defenders got great technique and the athletic ability to backstop his team effectively. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. And that carries off a body in the lane. Toledo's in now. Oh, making his presence felt with the hit. Kalamazoo's got it in their own zone. All right, time to get a clean sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end. As you heard the horn sound, we'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun one tonight. Hey, fans, don't forget to pick up your team calendars. They're available in section 144 at the team kiosk. Second period set to get underway. Been a fun one so far. Neither side giving an inch. Still tied here as we open things up in the second. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Toledo's got to find some rhythm in this game, James. From an offensive standpoint, they haven't generated a lot. And if they want to break the team, scores! And that's his first career playoff goal. He'll take it. Uh, he will, James, because the playoff is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. I'm not sure if the goalie saw this or tracked this correctly, James, but it was just a bullet of a shot from the point that had seeing eyes. The walleye have a little breathing room now, up by one in the second. Yeah, and it's real important time right now, James. They've got the go-ahead goal. Now it's about having the killer instincts. Play in attack mode, stay aggressive. There's a lot of runway left, but if you can get another, you can really sink your opponent. Toledo's got the puck here in the open ice. Sintasso's going to play it against the half wall. Quick feed to Morgan. He carries the puck up along the wing. Shot! And that banks off the stick. Lugging the puck. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Sends the feet in front. And it goes off a stick and off target. Gives him a tap with a stick, and the referees don't like it. And here comes the judgment from the official. Up by one, and you take a penalty, applying some pressure to the PK unit here as a power play has an opportunity to get the equalizer. It always 
amazes me that goaltenders often make this save look easy with all of that traffic in front and screen. I mean, it is important to battle and find the sight lines, and this goaltender who does a great job of making it happen. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, it's a 2-1 game. Good job tangling up his opponent here. The wings to play it from the defensive zone. Kalamazoo's got it against the boards. Big hit that frees up possession. Receives the pass. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Here's a chance on the attack. Quick shot. Scores. And that's his first goal of the postseason ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed, too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. Both teams gliding into position and the official set to drop the puck. zone moving the puck along the side makes a move in front hammers it on net turns aside the slap shot wow nice zone entry from the right side pokes the puck away here's an on man rush blocker saved by the new we got a whistle penalty coming up well, this is a critical juncture of the game. You've got the one goal lead, and now you take a penalty. The PK unit has to be the task and kill this off. And their first chance to use the man advantage. Power plays are a funny thing, especially when you're down by one, James. You have to act as if you are the hunter, and you have to possess that puck and attack. Moves it to prep of Esses. Oh, what a big time stop by Lemieux. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. Morrison's won a big draw on their own end. And that puck leaves the zone. Moves it quickly over to Keenan. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. And they get the puck out. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. From the open ice, they gain the line. Great poke check on the reach. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. And they get it out. Toledo's got the puck in the defensive end. They fail to capitalize on the man advantage, and they still trail by a goal. Well, often in hockey, we say timing is everything. And when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity on the power play, you have to cash in. And the whole bench knows that that was a missed opportunity. Lemieux going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. 
getting into the later stages of this period. 3-2 is where we sit in what has been a tightly contested affair. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Kalamazoo's got it across the line. Sends it out in front. Oh, what a chance, and that goes off target. Scores! And look at that, the rookie gets in on the playoff scoring. Now talk about embracing the nervous energy. Now he can take a breath, feel good about himself, and let the creativity flow. The Wings really got to be feeling good about themselves after that goal here late in the second, Cheryl. Yeah, I love the way they played. I mean, they've been aggressive. They competed in all areas, and now they've got that two-goal cushion heading into the intermission. This will provide a lot of energy to close out the third. Kalamazoo's got the puck along the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. Quick pass to McDonald. And he was ready for that one. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Take it along the wall by McCourt. With some open space here in the neutral zone. Toledo's got the puck along the wall. Pucks it away in his own end. The Wings move the puck in the defensive zone. Excellent stick work on the play. And it's a quick pass to McDonald. Grabs control of it at the point. Here's a shot. Booted away. Poked away in the defensive end. From the place 99 made famous. Wicked stop by the goalie who got his glove out to knock it away. The shot's coming from the middle of the ice and he hit has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position and he makes the save. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Here's a chance. Score! start the next period the same way they ended the last one. Kalamazoo's having a night, as, as some kids might say, Cheryl. They're balling out there here in period number two. Just loving it out here, James. I mean, they have had control of the play. They've been so dominant. It almost feels effortless. And when it feels effortless, you don't want it to stop. And they've got an intermission meeting, and you know they want to stay on the ice. Look at this, two on one. There it is. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here. And we'll come back. Third period action next. Time to drop the puck here in period number three. It has certainly been a one-sided affair tonight, and we are underway in the third. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. These are typically easy calls for officials to make as the opponent goes falling to the ice at the hands of your stick. Tough one to take. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. Well, James, if they can work that puck up high, you can quarterback in that power play. You can have eyes on either side. You can see the lanes in net. You can drive the puck, or you can pass for a one-timer off the side. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Let's it go. And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. Whistle blown, stopping the play. And the body language on the bench says it all, James. They're all looking up at the time on the clock to see if they'll continue to run because they got to kill off this penalty when they're down a bunch of goals. The Wings roll out their man advantage unit, and they've got lots of time with this five on three. Oh, and that is a lot of time on a five on three. You have to have a sense of urgency here, though, because if you pop one by, they convert on the power play and get it done. And it's so important when you're on the power play to have precise execution of your pass. 
passes and you're able to move the covers. That's exactly what they did and they're able to convert. The Wings continue to bring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players, and this is critical when you're in a long season. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Here's a short pass to Morrison. Shot denies him! Grabbed along the board by Taylor. The walleye have gained possession off the wall. Play blown dead, let's get the call. Another stick infraction, and you know that coaches don't like this one. A product of not being in good position, reaching, and then taking the trip because you weren't moving your feet. And it's four against four here with the puck set to drop. Four on four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense have the forwards, but the forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. Can't get it to go. From behind the net, looks to break out. Kalamazoo's moving it along the wing. Toledo's penalty has expired. They now go to work on the man advantage. This is it to Keenan. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. And the puck's knocked loose. Adams is now standing ready to get back on the ice. And they send it down the ice. Power play has expired. Well, this power play unit was stagnant, James. They didn't create any offense. They didn't get any pucks to the net, and there were really no chances. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. Quick feed to Keenan. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Fires it! Gets a pat on it! What a stop by Bednar! Toledo's got a hold of the puck. Keeps possession. Pucks it in deep, and they'll make a change. Great read with the stick. Kalamazoo's got a hold of it against the wall. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Moves it to the middle! And that's intercepted! Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Kalamazoo's third line is really showing it tonight. They're feeling it, James, and this is really critical. When you look down your lineup and you know that you've got kind of depth in that attack. Takes the shot, and the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. And he takes the pass. Oh, how did he get a piece of that to make the save? The Wings have a significant lead here in the third period. They have brought their A game tonight. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Craigs works the puck in his own zone. Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. Came up with the save on that play. Takes the feed from the wing. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Geraldo's pass was so difficult, James. I mean, he stumbles, so he's off balance, and he's still able to corral the puck and get it off with precision to the shooter. That leads to a great scoring chance. And he was locked in on that save as play continues. Tries to get it over to Craig. Toledo's through center and now in the offensive end. Centering feed. Couldn't complete the pass. We got a whistle offside to call. The Wings continue to lead here in the third. Thank to their coach's message. Lots of pucks on net. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Uses the force on that hit. Moves it to the middle. And that doesn't go as it's off the stick. Made that stop. Denies it again. The move's been really sharp tonight, James. And then just have a look at his save percentage. And he's making the stops that he needs to. But man, this team's played well. They've got going north. They've created opportunities. And the reason why, they have a healthy lead. Made the stop on the play. Toledo's got a hold of the puck now. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. 
Takes a shot. Gets a glove on it to make the save. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. The Wings come up with the defensive zone draw. Here they come. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Stops that one. Scores! His first of the playoffs, and the rookie gets it done. Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer. Well, the rookie, an impressive start to leaving a lasting impression. to the total tonight. Uh, what a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. Toledo's going to start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that face-off. The Walleye have taken possession in their own end. Moves the puck. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Takes control of the puck. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Moves it to Taylor. Handles the pass. Across the line and on the attack. There's a shot. And that goes off the body. Handles that one. Here's a chance for the middle. It is tough for a backup goaltender to come in. You're cold, you haven't had any movement, and it's evident there with that first goal that gets by him. The Wings are having themselves a night, and they probably don't want this one to end, Pounder. Nah, I wouldn't. If you're patting the stats and you're putting up these kind of numbers, I mean, from start to finish, they've imposed their will on their opponent. Sage has won the draw inside the neutral zone. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Panhang on to the biscuit after that. And they continue to apply pressure here. The Walleye have the puck against the boards. Taken by Morgan. Takes the feed as center and moves up ahead. The Wings take it across the blue line. Moves it quickly over to Sajin. Stop by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. Penalty coming up. Here's a pass in front. And that's stopped. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, he's frustrated with this call, and he's going to argue it with the official, but guess what? It's going to be a call. It's not getting changed. Power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. You know they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they got to find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill sets. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. McDonald's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. And the final seconds ticking away here in regulation. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. And he comes up with it. Toledo's in transition. And the fans on their feet recognizing a solid victory here in front of them. And they come up with it as the puck skips out. 
take a 2-1 series lead. Well, that's a huge win to get the 2-1 lead, but even more critical is the next game, James. With that 2-1 lead, that game could mean the series tied, or they have a two-game lead. And you know what happens when you got two-game lead? Your opponent starts tightening their sticks because they are behind the eight ball. So it's all about pressure now and seeing if they can continue to respond. A fun night of playoff hockey, and these playoffs, well, they have been intense, and they have been electrifying so far. We will see you at the next broadcast. For Sheriff, I'm Jakes. Good night.